Hi everyone, so in this video we're going to see together how we can create a portal that allows us to go in some other area of our game, so let's get started. So I've already created the portal, so this is this image, I've put the link for downloading that, um, that sprite uh, into the description box below. So I have that stuff done and I also have created an area 2D on my player. That area 2D is going to be the one that's going to detect everything about the portal. And my portal itself is made of an area 2D and I have attached a collision shape 2D. That collision shape is basically just a capsule shape and I have the sprite, the animation player, voila. So the first thing I'm gonna do is like, first I'm gonna just turn that down. Uh, I'm gonna uh, click on my portals and I'm gonna go here on the right and I'm gonna click on node and then on group. And here I'm gonna create a group and I'm gonna call it portal and I'm gonna click on add. This is gonna be an, uh, a sort of a label that I'm gonna use to actually uh, make my player detect this um, and so on. So now on my player I have created that hitbox as I told you like it's an area 2D with a collision shape that's the round, uh, the round one and this one I'm gonna go on the inspector node and signal and I'm gonna click on air area entered and I'm gonna connect it to my player. So like that, it's gonna create that function here. And that function will be useful after that for creating the, um, everything about the, um, the code for moving the player. Then I'm gonna go on my portal and I'm gonna create a script. I'm gonna call it portal. Uh, and I'm gonna create it. And so now I need to tap some stuff on that, uh, that portal. So in terms of code, what I need to code is basically uh, several stuff. So first I have to code um, a variable that I need to export. So, oh, hold on. Export int and I'm going to call it var. It's going to be an ID. It's going to be equal to zero. Okay. So now I need to create another, another variable. It's going to be called var lock portal and uh, I'm gonna set it up to false that variable I'm gonna use it to close the portal uh, so like that you don't you can't like uh, get stuck into a loop of you entering um, infinitely into the portals and then I'm gonna create a function and I'm gonna call it locked portal and so I'm gonna say here yeah, that lock portal equal to true so it closed the portal then I'm gonna call a yield and that yield gonna be get tree create timer I'm gonna put it at 0 0.5 so like this that will be good then I'm gonna say timeout and then I'm gonna say that lock portal is equal to false so you can go back into the portals and for the, um, the portal in itself, it's quite done, so that's good. So now I need to go to the player, and in the player I need to do several stuff. So the first thing I need to do is to create um, a little variable here, and I'm going to call it var portal id, it's going to be equal to zero. And here I'm just going to comment, I'm just going to say that it's everything about portal just for me to, to, to remember what it what it is all about and then here what I'm gonna do is like I'm gonna start to code the actual function of the, um, the portal in itself so I'm gonna create a function and I'm gonna call it teleport it's gonna be an area and I'm gonna say for portal in get tree get node in group and here between quotes I'm gonna say portal I'm gonna say that if portal is not equal to an, to an area if portal dot id double equal area id I'm going to say that if the 
portal isn't locked area dot locked portal and now I'm gonna just set up the position so global position is equal to portal dot global position area not area add <laughs> so that's good and now here I'm just gonna uh, so when the player will enter into the area of the portals I'm gonna code something for that so I'm gonna say if area dot is in group uh, and so between quote is gonna be portal I'm gonna say that if the area is not locked so if area doesn't lock portal teleport area and that's it so normally now it should work so I'm just gonna go back to my level and I'm gonna just like so like delete this one and I'm gonna go back to my prefab I'm gonna take my portals I'm gonna put it for example right here and I'm gonna uh, I think it's alright I don't think I, I don't think I have to make a connection maybe I do I'm gonna try this one first I can't remember how I've done it last time so let's see I'm gonna put that one here okay so now let's see how it works yeah it works <laughs> so that's good so basically here you have the portal and so now you can come uh, you can come into one you will come here and you can come on this one and you will come here and that's basically how it works and you can lock here the the portal for a certain amount of time for example uh, here I can say five seconds and so I will not be able to uh, get inside the, the portal for five seconds that's basically how it works it's not complicated hold on up ah voila so here you see I can't get inside but now I should hold on come on why can't I ah voila So yeah, so that's how it works. But basically at 0 0.5 is very good. You don't need to have more than that unless your game is uh, asking for it. So yeah, so I hope that the tutorial has been helpful for you. If it's the case, don't hesitate to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And me, I want to thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.